Hi, I'm Cara, the editor of Beauty Magazine, and welcome to Beauty School. This month, we're looking at the home hair colorants market in association with Clairol, and I'm joined by Sean Tetlow, Clairol's creative director and a professional hair colorist, who's going to tell us about the market. So, Sean, how popular is home hair coloring? Incredibly popular. £200 million pounds a year, apparently, it's worth. Saying two thirds of women over the age of 15 are colouring their hair at home or have coloured their hair at home. Um, and the market's growing. So, what that's telling us is technically the products are improving. So, they're now multi tonal. Um, you get great coverage on blonde, you get great coverage with red and brunette, where that in the past was very, very difficult. So, coverage on grey, well, that's the biggie, isn't it? Mm. So amazing coverage with that at home and it's very very easy and simple to do. And how about different formats There seem to be more than just you know single block colours to cover hair? The, the many formats now you know you've got your root touch up, you've got your um, semi permanents and the, the colours that kind of go in between where if you've got the few grey hairs they will help to cover that. So as well as covering 100% grey hair you know you can get great colours when you've just got the odd little grey one peeking through as well without using a permanent colour. And obviously grey is a really big reason that people colour their hair, but presumably, I mean, there are other reasons that people want to go for a hair dye, aren't there? Absolutely. Grey, first of all, I would say, um, because it, everybody wants to slow down the ageing process. And then you've got fashion, you've got a change of image, you know, so if you want to go from dark to a darker colour into red, total change of image. Uh, enhance the blonde, yeah, so fashion is a big part of it too. If assistants are helping customers choose their colour, where do they start? How do they help people navigate those yeah, options? Good question. Um, the, the general rule that we use in the salon is never look past the eyebrow. Now that's going to tell you everything really you need to know. So if the eyebrows are dark and the skin colouring will be dark, then there's no way that we should be looking to lift that hair up too light. So two shades is more than enough. Mm -hmm. And one shade going darker, what we've got to remember is it's really not like a paint, it's not like emulsion. And people pick it out and think, oh well, today, blonde. Well, it's not like that. So we've got to be realistic about the expectation. You know, your expectations mm. are realistic in there. So um, checking on the eyebrows, eye colouring, that'll give you a true reflection. And if you're trying to help somebody pick a shade, that's the first area to look at and then it's very, very easy to guide them in. And how about in terms of, you're talking about the different levels of permanency, what different things will people need for their different requirements? Okay, so say for instance you've got a nice little bob and uh, no grey hair in there at all. So we can use a colour there that's six to eight shampoos, okay, it doesn't contain any ammonia, it's just going to give lovely gloss and shine, a little bit of tone in there as well. Okay, if we've got the odd grey hair, then there's a product that we can use that's got a very, very low strength peroxide okay and it will cover really really well for about 24 shampoos mm -hmm. then we move up to what would be termed as say level three which is your permanent color okay so it's mixed with the peroxide and it will give 100 percent and it is permanent so if you're very great or if you want a complete color change then that's what you really need that's to that's the for. one you need to aim for absolutely yeah and is there a danger that people can be unrealistic about what shade they can expect to actually achieve yeah i think that's a real danger so when somebody's picking a colour, never go off the front of the box, it's not this girl, okay, that we're looking at in this picture, as nice as it is. Always turn to the side, okay, and it simply tells you if you are naturally this, this or this base, this is the result that you can expect to achieve with this particular tint. Right. Easy to follow. So say for instance, carry yours, you know that by checking it on here, that you're not going to achieve this kind of blonde. Yep. So never off the front of the box, always go directly to the side. And so you say, for example, my hair colour isn't on there. Does that mean this product isn't for me? That's what it's meaning, yeah. So we go straight to here, like we've just said. And then if your hair's darker like yours, then we'll be looking for a, a base shade, okay, that's compatible with yours. And then, because what it's giving you then is a true reflection of what you're actually going to achieve once you've used the product. 